Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the ultimate investment accessories. Buying classic pieces is always a really big theme on this channel. I thought I would do this overview video where I look at the different categories and break it down by category. So I have one here for mini bags, for medium sized shoulder bags, for top handles, for belts, for shoes. I try to cover pretty much everything. I'm really focusing in on those super classic pieces which will stand the test of time and will hopefully be great additions to any anyone's wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being part sponsored by Farfetch, who I have worked with before and I know they are a really popular one with so many of you guys. Their stock selection is pretty much unrivaled, so even though I'm featuring a ton of items in this video, pretty much everything is available from farfetch.com. So I will include links to everything down below in the description section if you did want to check anything out. I do still have a discount code with them as well, which I'll pop on screen now. It gets you 10% off your order. There are some T's and C's, so I will include those in the description section. I'll pop the code in there as well. There are a ton of things included, including Saint Laurent, which is always one of my favorites, and I know it's always super popular with you guys as well. So again, I'll pop all the details in the description section if you wanted to check that out. So I am going to be moving through each item quite quickly just because there is so much to get through. I'm also excluding Hermes, Louis Vuitton and Chanel just because I always think those are such obvious candidates and brands and um, so I wanted to focus on items where if you weren't interested in buying a Chanel Classic Flab or an Hermes Birkin then these are the bags which also offer a good degree of longevity and are what I consider to be very classic as well. My first category are mini bags and I have combined wallet on chains and mini bags together just to trim down the number of categories because otherwise there would have been 20 or 30 of them. And one of my favorite styles, no surprise to anyone, is the Saint Laurent kind of clutch line. There are a few different variations. So I have my newer wristlet right here. I have my older one, which is kind of the first bag which started my love affair with Saint Laurent. This is their wallet on chain in the larger size. And I love this bag and I combine them together because even though they do have different price points and they are different bags. For me, when you're considering a classic piece, a lot really does come down to the look. And as you probably tell, they look very, very similar indeed. You know, they do have that very iconic YSL logo and the chevron leather. So this is why I'm kind of lumping them together. But whichever one you go for, I do think this is a really classic style. I've had this one for going on four years, I think. And for me, it looks just as current as the day I got it. It's extremely durable and I just don't think that it dates. YSL is, you know, obviously a very, very famous brand that's Saint Laurent now, um, but they've kept their logo very, very consistent, which really does help in terms of how classic their bag designs look. And for me, I can imagine myself wearing this in five, 10 years time. So this one absolutely ticks the box for me. Next up is the mini lady deal. And I do think this is such a classic bag. And of course, Dior do offer this style in a variety of sizes. I just picked the mini one in this category because it's the one I own, but they are all equally classic. And Dior have been producing this bag for decades now. And that is by far the biggest indicator as to whether something is going to have good longevity. If the fashion house continues to produce the design with very, very limited changes, it's always the change that makes something, you know, look a bit outdated because of course people always want the newest version or usually anyway. So the fact that Dior have kept this design very consistent has meant that it's a really, really classic style and it's a beautiful one. Not the most practical, of course. Um, it, it is quite limited in terms of functionality, but what it lacks in practicality, it definitely makes up for in terms of beauty. It is a stunning bag. And finally, for the mini bag category, I wanted to include a camera bag because I do think it's such a classic style. I was debating which one to go for, but by far for me, the most classic bag I can think of within the camera bag, small bag category is the Gucci Soho Disco. This is one I used to own. I did just sell my one, but I still stand by it as a beautiful style. You know, I think Gucci did a great job of creating a bag that just looks very, very timeless. And it is a fairly old style now. And the fact that people People still are buying it and I still see it about everywhere you know it just seems to be a universally popular one and so if you wanted a really beautiful and functional camera bag that was going to stand the test of time I do think the Gucci Soho is a really great shout still 
My next category is small to medium sized shoulder bags and I have two styles within this category. The first of which is the Gucci Darnassus. I know the Marmot line is always talked about in terms of trendy versus classic bags, but I do consider the Darnassus to be fairly classic and certainly for Gucci, I think it's a really, really iconic style. You know, it's a very distinct, unique looking bag, but even with the Gucci monogram canvas, I just think it has all the elements of a very classic style and it has been around a little bit longer than the Monmont line and even though it never reached the popularity of the Monmont line I do think it's kind of coasted along I still see it out and about a lot I know I reach for mine a ton still and I think it's a great bag I'd be very very surprised if Gucci discontinued this because I do think it's a pretty iconic style from them so you know, never say never, but for me, I'm not planning on getting rid of mine anytime soon, and I fully imagine I would still be wearing this in three to five years' time. And the other style in this category is the Saint Laurent Lulu, and there are a whole bunch of different sizes within this line, um, and I do think it kind of goes for the entire line, but in general, I think the Saint Laurent do a lot of really classic bags, which is why I like them so much, you know, they do have really classic designs, they're usually quite functional as well, you usually have the YSL logo, much like I mentioned with the wallet on chain, for me, this is the small size and I think this is kind of the perfect size for me. I love the chain drop, I love the overall proportions and I just think it's an adorable one. But regardless of whether you prefer this size or the next size up, I do think this has all the makings of a really classic bag. Again, Saint Laurent haven't changed the YSL logo even when they change their overall house name. And I think that is a really big indicator of a classic bag. So I do think they do a lot of classic bags in general, but for me, the Lou line in particular is a standout. Next up are top handles, and this is actually quite a packed category. I have four styles in total, three I have here, and one I don't own, but I do consider to be very classic. The first one is the Givenchy Antigona. This bag always makes these lists of mine because I do think it really stood the test of time. You know, it's not quite as popular as it once was, but it's proven to have a really, really strong longevity. This is not a new bag. It's been around many, many years. I still see it a lot, and it's an enduringly popular style because of how classic it looks you know again it's quite an iconic design from Givenchy and I know Givenchy have tried many times since then to recreate the success of this bag with varying degrees of success but this one for me always just stands out as something which is popular for a reason you know it's a really beautiful kind of pulled together looking bag I think it looks really great with work outfits you can make it work casually as well it's a really versatile one mine is in the small size in the mock crop which is the only one I own now I I absolutely love this iteration, but regardless of whether you go for the mock crop or the plain leather version, I do think this is a really classic bag. I'm still really enjoying mine and I plan to for many years to come. Next up is the Prada double bag and this is another one that's been around a really long time. I still love mine to bits though and I still see it being re-released every single season in different colorways. So I do think it's still a really popular design for Prada. And for me, this is just kind of the quintessential work bag. You know, it's a very smart looking bag it's pretty functional in terms of the design you know it's great for documents your laptop you have a longer strap as well it kind of ticks all the boxes of a work bag and it is just a very very classic look again it helps that Prada doesn't seem to change their logo too much so again you're not really seeing that outdated element and for me the Prada double bag really has stood the test of time I don't think it looks dated and it's just a really really functional well-designed beautiful work bag and the other top handle style I have here is my Mulberry Zipped Base Water. I was debating whether to include this because even though I love it, it is on the newer side. And when talking about kind of what I consider to be classic styles, I always try and go for ones which have been around for a little longer, just because it's so difficult to tell with newer styles. You know, you just don't know how things are going to play out, how popular they're gonna be after a couple of years. So I always try and go for more kind of tried and tested styles. This one is on the newer side, but I do think it has all the makings of a classic style. It's from Mulberry and even though it is newer it does have some kind of more traditional design aspects. It does have the little turn lock there albeit is more decorative. has the new Mulberry logo but overall the quality seems lovely. The design is pretty classic looking as well and this is 100% a bag I can see myself having in my collection for the long term. It's also just very very functional and fit for purpose which always helps as well. And the other bag that I wanted to mention which I don't have here is 
is the Loewe puzzle bag and I wasn't sure whether to put this in the shoulder bag category or the top handle. I felt like it didn't really fit neatly in either but it felt too big to put in the mini bag category um, but whatever category it fits into, um, I've mentioned before, I do think this is a very classic bag even though it's not my own uh, personal style. I think it's a gorgeous one. It has all the makings for me of a really classic design that's going to stand the test of time. You know, it's become very popular but it's not oversaturated so that people are going to get bored of it quickly. The girls I have seen wear it have worn it really, really well. I've heard only good things about the quality and I do think that this is going to be a new classic which is going to be popular for quite a few years to come. Next up are shoes and I have some picks here for heels and for flats. First up are heels and my pick for the kind of classic pump is the Jean Vita Rossi pump and I know a lot of different brands do this shoe but no one does it better than Jean Vita Rossi in my opinion. Not only is it a beautiful shape and so flattering, you know, it has that great pointed toe. It is quite high but it is quite comfortable considering the heel height but they are also just so beautifully made. They really do mold your feet and the suede in particular does make them a lot more comfy than a stiff leather, but it also adds that beautiful element of texture to any outfit as well. I have these in three colors. That's how much I love them. And if you are looking for a classic pump that will literally go with everything, I would highly recommend this one. It's my favorite shoe. It is so, so beautiful and I never tire of these and I imagine I'm going to have them for many years to come. And then my other heel pick is the Manolo Blahnik Hangersy pumps. I had to include these because these are as close to art in a shoe as it gets, I think. The design is just beautiful and they're not always that practical. Usually they come in satin so they don't wear that well. You know, they are prone to snagging but if you wanted a really special shoe to break out for special occasions then this is a wonderful choice. You can get them in two or three heel heights I think. I think it's three. This one is the medium one I think um, but it's very very wearable. It looks beautiful on and this is a really nice one you know if you wanted to go full on glam you could do but if you wanted to dress up a pair of jeans as well it makes such a statement. So not always the most practical but definitely a beautiful option as well. And then speaking of Manolo Blahnik, the same style did make my cut for the flats. Again, if you wanted to splurge on a really decadent pair of flats and wanted something really special in your closet, I don't think you can do much better than these. I got mine in the black just to be a little bit more practical. They aren't quite as prone to showing dirt and just general wear and tear. This is with the kind of little sparkly buckle detail, but these are so beautiful. I also have them in the velvet as well. And they're just such special shoes and every time you wear them, you feel a little bit more special as well, I think. I think they're just such stunning designs and so classic for a reason. You know, these really do live up to the hype in my opinion and they are just beautiful things to have in your closet. And then a slightly more practical choice are my Nicholas Kirkwood Bayer Flats. I mentioned these recently, but I'm a huge fan of these. If you want a go anywhere loafer, I find these so, so wonderful, incredibly comfortable, which I don't find to be true of every designer flat at all. I own these in three colors now as well. As you can see, when I like a style, I really kind of go in on it, just because I don't always find that designer shoes work for me. So if I do find something that I like and find comfortable, I'm quite happy to buy multiple pairs in different colors. These ones are kind of a darker lilac. I also have a pale pink and a black version. The lighter ones definitely get more use in my closet, but I love these for just teaming with jeans and a blazer. It's such a, an easy go anywhere look and I definitely wouldn't be without mine. And they also have a really classic look about them as well, which for me absolutely justifies the price, that along with the beautiful design and quality. Next up are belts. I told you guys I'm really covering every category here. Um, belts are a little bit more of a tricky one, I think, because it's really more of a recent thing that luxury belts have been popular. Um, that said, if I was really going to only invest in one and I wanted to make sure it was going to last me a really long time, I would probably go more on the thinner side just because I do think it's more of a newer trend to kind of have the lower slung belts as a real statement option. Whereas it's something that's a little bit thinner, you're more likely to wear over dresses and skirts and that sort of thing and for me that just feels a little bit more classic as uh, so my favorite one at the moment is my Saint Laurent belt if you watch any of my fashion or clothing videos you'll probably have seen me wear this because I team it with a lot of pieces it's just a really really nice item to upgrade your look it's so simple it's pretty subtle as well you just have the YSL right there um, so it's not too in your face but 
it's just something that it's easy to put on and it instantly seems to upgrade your look. And the other belt I wanted to mention is from Salvatore Ferragamo, which I do think this is a tried and tested classic style. It's been around for a few years now. It's really popular and I love how understated it is. Really, really beautiful. You can often get them as a reversible style as well, so you can get two different color options. I was debating between that one and the Saint Laurent one. I couldn't actually find my size in the Salvatore Ferragamo one and when I was actually waiting for it to come back in stock, I stumbled across my Sailor On one, which is why I ended up going for that. But the Salvatore Ferragamo one is really beautiful. And again, if you don't want something overly flashy, which is just gonna last you so many years, I think this one is a lovely, lovely choice. And then finally, my last category are wallets or SLGs. And I'd say that the whole trendy versus classic question is less applicable to wallets just because they're not as prone to the whims of fashion, I don't think. You know, it's not often that you hear about an it wallet. Usually it's an it bag or an it pair of shoes. That said, there are some really classic styles about, usually because when a bag from a fashion house is successful, they'll often transfer those kind of classic elements onto their SLGs and wallets. So I have I have three examples here of just styles I love that I would always recommend. My Mulberry Dali wallet I had to include because I'm so in love with this one. I've had it since October and I've used it every single day pretty much since then. It's a wonderful wallet and it is um, pretty hard wearing even though it is a soft leather which is not usually what I'd recommend if you wanted something really durable but as I said I've been using mine daily for well over six months and it's just done really well and it looks good as new so I love this wallet and I do do think it looks pretty classic from Mulberry. I do have one of my Saint Laurent card holders here as well and this isn't just applicable to this card holder but so many of their wallets which does feature that really iconic YSL. You know, I don't think you're going to go wrong whether you wanted a long wallet or a compact wallet or if you were just happy with a card holder. I think these are so classic. Their leather is so incredibly hard wearing and durable and just like their bags the fact that they don't change up their logo really does help in terms of how classic their pieces are viewed. So me at Saint Laurent is always one to look at and they do some beautiful SLG options. And then finally my last pick for really classic beautiful wallets that I do think will stand the test time are Prada wallets and I have two here so I have one longer one this one isn't actually mine it's my mum's um, but I bought this for her I think it was last year maybe the year before uh, and it's just done incredibly well. I do think that these have a really lovely classic look to them and you can get a few different variations. Hers just has the kind of pink logo right Right there but you can also get the triangle version you can get gold stamping but the Safiano leather on the wallets at least in her experience has been very very durable and she is not easy on her items at all she's really really hard on them so the fact that this looks as good as it does after daily use is just so impressive to me and I think not only is it very functional and beautiful, but it's just one of those items which is really, really iconic and I just don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I just got myself a little SLG from Prada as well. This one is a little bit more simple in terms of the logo, so just the gold stamping right there. You have some card slots in the front. You have a little pocket on the back and then you have a zipped area, which is actually quite big. It can open quite wide. And you have that adorable little Prada zipper right there as well. Really, really cute. Cute. The Safiano leather is particularly good for SLGs and again Prada is just one of those brands that they don't change too much in terms of their designs. They do tend to look quite classic and I think they do really really beautiful elegant SLGs. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you agreed or disagreed with my picks. If you think I missed any classic pieces out, let me know below. I will also include links as I mentioned to everything I featured in the description section along with the details of that discount code as well. If you enjoyed the video, please do give us a thumbs up and as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.